Let's bring in uh, Nicole back. She's been tracking developments on the shooting rampage in Orlando that left a TV reporter dead. That reporter just being identified by the station. That's exactly right, Keith Maribel. That new information coming into our newsroom about 15 minutes ago. So please take a look at this image if you can bring it up. We can confirm that Dylan Lyons was the reporter who was killed in that shooting rampage in Orlando. He has deep ties to Central Florida, and this is his photo on your screen right now. Now, Spectrum News has also named the photographer who was critically injured as well in that shooting. His name, Jesse Wall. Walden. Now, we want you to take a look at this. Many of Dylan's co workers having a very difficult time processing this tragedy. This is Spectrum News reporter tweeting this out last night, writing, Today has not been easy. Many of us lost more than just a colleague today, but I can't tell you how much it has meant to me and my news 13 family members who have just reached out to ask if we're okay. I appreciate it. And now prayers are needed for the two more fighting for their lives. This shooting is is simply a somber reminder about the dangers out there for so many journalists. Now, police believe 19 year old Keith Moses, if we could take a look at this, is responsible not just for the shooting that killed the reporter Dylan Lyons and that nine year old, but also behind the person a killing of a 20 year old, an investigation that crew was actually covering from earlier that day. So the sheriff John Mina says the alleged shooter not saying much right now, still very unclear if this news crew was targeted. No one in our community, uh, not a mother, not a nine year old, and certainly not news professionals should become the victim of gun violence in our community. Uh, so and we all know safety is, of course, mm -hmm. paramount at any sure. station, wherever we work for mm -hmm. these journalists. Yes. And I do want you to listen to a heartbreaking soundbite from a WFLA reporter. It is nice to see all the media. We come together in solidarity in this moment. This is every reporter's absolutely worst nightmare. We, we go home at night afraid that something like this will occur. And that, that is what happened here. Um, and you may remember another tragedy from back in 2015 when Allison Parker and her photographer Adam Ward were killed on live TV. This happening in Virginia. Allison was doing a live interview in their morning show when shots rang out and the camera dropped to the ground. The shooter was an employee who was fired from that station years earlier and he filmed himself carrying out that shooting and then turned the gun on himself. And guys, of course, I mean, even mm -hmm. seeing this last night, it's it's never easy to see any of these no. stories. And when it's in a profession of what we do, it, it hits even close closer to home. To home and Absolutely. It's, it's it devastating. Does. And, and we're just out there doing our job. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's happened to me. I've been threatened on a me number too. of scenes. My first yeah. year in this business, I was doing a live shot up in West Palm. I worked up in that market. I was doing a live shot and they were throwing mason jars and bottles at me that were exploding in, in my live shot and you know I cut yeah. out and we took off. Yeah, but, yeah. but, many it, but it, yeah, happens. it happens. I mean, we are threatened. Yeah, and police are there. We, I've been to many crime scenes when they clear the scene and police tell us we are leaving and we suggest that you, you leave, leave too well. because yeah. we are targets. Yeah. I mean, no, we totally are. And of course, safety, so like I said, is always paramount. Our own news director, you know, sending mm -hmm. us that email last mm -hmm. night. If you feel unsafe, please leave. Yeah. And we always have to remember that, even though we always want to tell you guys the stories, right. you know. Yeah. And of course, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Spectrum 13 News Obviously, family. Yeah. Um, very sad, very, very sad.